enrolled in a fine art printmaking class, and um, a woman that was a gallery owner came in and saw my work and invited me to be in her gallery. And that's when I started seeing myself more as an artist and not a, a commercial artist. Just the whole range of emotions that you get from the, the living creatures, that is more interesting to me than landscapes or any of the, um, you know, the things that are in our life are to me backgrounds to all that information. Gustav Wiegland is one of my most favorite sculptors. Uh, Marina Marini was one of my other very favorite ones. And his work, I think just because of the simplicity of his work, and there's also a kind of a childlike sense of humor that I see in it. I and the, the magic that happens when you put something, you know, some dark down and a little bit of light goes in there and it suddenly pops forward. They don't tend to teach that in school, the business of art. And some people come to it naturally. I don't come from a family of entrepreneurs, so um, it's not hasn't been natural for me. But I do have a lot of um, uh, stick to itiveness, you know. And, and I've also learned that you have to go out there and contact, make contacts with people. Like I keep in touch with my community back in California, the community of artists that I used to know, and I've just recently tuned into that whole little community on Facebook, mm -hmm. and it's really fun. It's like, hello, I'm here again, you know. And Being around other artists, you know, cultivating artist friends, you know, and sharing ideas and um, what they're doing, and doing a lot of seeing what has been done in the past, and seeing what you love and what you resonate with, and. Working to working until they can find their own voice. We all, each individually, have things to say. If you've made that decision to make it, to be an artist, then part of you has to be thinking about it as a business, connecting with people. Yeah, I, I don't desire to express angst or sadness about my past mm -hmm. or sadness about what's going on in the world. I prefer to find the, the beauty and the joy that's going on in the world because I know people love to see that and they can resonate with it, it makes them feel good.